Arundhati, I would want to hear from you because you have worked in both banks, right? in digital or in the physical world. So uh, here, Fazi spoke about some amazing tools, AIs, automations, and how we can really how they can help us scale. But one of the biggest problem is uh, implementing these in in the real world, correct? So what do you think are some of the challenges you have seen or experienced around implementing digital first uh, service experiences, right? And uh, if in case you have handled it in the past, how have you really handled these challenges to scale? Sure. Um, that's, a, that's a very interesting uh, question, Prakash. And uh, uh, the point is, you know, I'll, I'll kind of try to address that at two levels, right? So one is, of course, the technical functional aspects of challenges. But what I kind of would like to bring to table here is the strategic aspect of this challenge, because I see a lot of orgs. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about... Uh, people that I interact with, people where I worked earlier and, you know, uh, across my journey, uh, they kind of try and tackle a digital first experience through a team, like an IT team will deal with this or, a, or uh, you know, let's delegate it to marketing to deal with this. I think this is, this is a conversation at a board level or, a, you know, a C level and it's 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 a norm today right so this is no longer a project or a program management concept anymore so it's a, a org strategy is the digital strategy and vice versa so i think that's that's one of the largest challenges uh, uh, per se and it's more a lot of times it's an unspoken challenge but i kind of wanted to bring this to table for those organizations who are still trying to uh, tackle it at a, a single function level right like chalo it dekh lega digital first wo nahi hota hai right so <laughs> that's that's it but uh, coming coming to um, you know the, the certain technical aspects right so i've worked very heavily on digital marketing aspects of a uh, in an org, for example, I, I'd like to talk about, you know, personalization here, right? So when you when you want to get into a, 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 a top notch digital experience, you would want to kind of create personalized. Uh, these days, the, the, the term is hyper personalization, right? So we need to get there. Uh, but with that, uh, you know, there come so many challenges, right? So I think the big techs and the large advertising giants have made, are trying to make it very, very clear that the age of third party cookies are gone, right? So uh, now the brands would have to now start relying on first party data, which means that you would need to kind of responsibly collect user data based on user consent. Now, here comes a challenge around, you know, so for, for a user to come and give consent for somebody to uh, collect data from you, they, they demand that the brand would do something with it, right? So a lot of places where I see organizations fail is they would go with this data collection drive, but they do not have the systems in place to be able to actually deliver a personalized service, mm -hmm. right? So... Uh, again, I would urge people to actually get ready before they go out to the consumer, right? So uh, I think one of the recent Accenture uh, surveys say that around 65% consumers are willing to actually pay more and are willing to actually share more data in exchange for a really great service, right? Which includes me. Now, Right. So, yeah, no, that's that's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a very fine balance, uh, Prakash. Right. So you uh, I think one of the cornerstones around that is building trust for a large global brand. That is probably a little easier. But for uh, a, a lot of, uh, you know, new age startups, it, it takes a little little while to kind of build that trust with consumers. And this is across all brands, payments, D2C, I'm talking about pretty much the wide spectrum of digital experiences. So yeah, I think those, those are certain challenges being able to deliver a personalized experience while responsibly dealing with consumer data is something that, you know, brands need to focus on. And again, uh, you know, deal with this in a very, very strategic way and not in a very myopic teen mahine ka project wala way. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that reminds me of a saying someone used to say in our uh, in in my previous one of our previous orgs was there are tech companies and there are companies with tech departments. Absolutely. Uh, it depends on which one you're working for. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get that. 